Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry about my voice. I've currently got a bit of a cold so it does sound a bit croaky but I will try my best to be as coherent as I possibly can. So in my last video I said there would be a part two of my sales shopping haul and I must say that unfortunately a lot of the bits I bought when they came and I tried them on I didn't really like them. The huge chunk of the stuff that I bought I returned but I do have a few bits that I am going to show you and I also thought why not throw in some blogger mail featuring some beauty bits that I've gotten this past couple of weeks as well. Or well, the past week I would say actually. So let's just get straight into it. I don't want to waste any time talking loads. <laughs> so first up I have to show you is a top that I picked up from Zara actually from the Zara sales and um, it's like a translucent top. It's quite long as well, I would say. And um, yes, so it came and I just all of a sudden wasn't so sure of the print. I tried it on and I just felt like it wasn't me per se. It almost feels like a beach wear, more so than an actual top I'd wear in winter. I do love a sheer top, I really do, but I'm just not so keen on this one. There's a split on each side that's quite high. So this bit is fitted onto the waist. Yeah, it just wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me. I think I bought it for like 13 pounds, so it wasn't a great deal. And uh, me personally, I love it when I buy an item and it comes and I don't like it and then I can return it because then I feel like I'm saving money <laughs> so it's always a good feeling to some extent but yes yeah, so this is something that I bought that I'm not too sure of that I will be taking back for sure the next item I have to show you is also from Zara and this time round it's an off-the-shoulder top and I actually bought a green striped version in the summer and lo and behold the white version went on sale and I snapped it up. I was so, so close to getting the blue striped version as well. It was sitting in my shopping bag for ages and then, well, I guess someone bought it, so it's now sold out and I can't get my hands on it, which is fair enough. I don't need that many versions of it. But I really do love an off-the-shoulder top. So this right here, I absolutely love. Um, I'm going to hold on to this one. This I'm going to hold on to. It's going to be great for the summer. Um, I picked up a size small because they didn't have an extra small. And um, if it's okay, it, I can make do with a small. So um, this is it. The next item I have to show you is something that I picked up from Cos, and it is a new wool scarf. I was due a new scarf just simply because the one that I currently wear on a day-to-day -day basis is quite thin and very much like a pashmina scarf, which is very much suited for the summer warmer weather. And so I thought it was about time I upgraded and got myself something thicker and warmer for the cold season because it's absolutely freezing out there. So I picked up this 100% wool scarf from COS. I've actually been wearing it ever since I bought it and it is amazing, absolutely amazing. And if you'd noticed, yes, I picked it up in navy because I do love to wear navy, I do. So I now literally am all navyed out nearly every day. This is my my new scarf that I picked up and I absolutely love it I really do it just keeps me warm then also from Zara I picked up these kitten heels I remember seeing this in the summer and I was keen on it but I wasn't so keen on the price tag it's real leather so suede leather so it was 50 pounds to begin with I realized then before I knew it, the price shot up to something ridiculous like 60 or 70 pounds and I just thought that was absolutely insane. So even at 50 pounds, I wasn't all that keen to depart with my money for it because the leather shoes from Zara, not um, somewhere a bit more high end. And when it shot up even further, I just thought, Yo, you're just crazy because I'm not forking out that much for it. So lo and behold, they were on the sale. They went down to £16. They've arrived and I am unsure about these. I don't know why I wanted them. And now that I finally have them, I just don't know if I actually do really want them. There's something about the detailing of the shoe that I wasn't aware of. On the ribbon down here, it almost looks like it's fraying and I wasn't aware of that. It just looks like it's ruined, but no, that's the actual style of the shoes. Let me just zoom in. So this is what I'm referring to. This fraying detail, I am not so keen on it. I don't like it. I just don't like it. So I feel like I'm going to think about this. I may return it because 
one, I'm, I don't know, the colour's just so bright. I know it would be great for summer, but the colour's so bright. And on top of that, I'm not sure if the fit is right, even though it's meant to be my size. Zara sizes aren't always on point, as I am well aware of. These are going to sit in my unsure section. I'm going to spend a couple of days thinking about whether to keep or to return these. But yes, these are the last shoes that I picked up from Zara, the last item I have to show you from Zara before I move on to the blogger mail. Moving on to some blogger mail, I have some bits to show you from Barry M. I am first going to start off with their new nail polish collections that they have coming out. Some are already out and some are due to hit the stores very soon. The first collection from Barry M, I would say for the spring summer season, is their Candy Culture Nail Paints. And these are scented nail polishes as well. And they are of a pastel hue, I would say. And they are going to be ideal for the spring summer season. I cannot wait to swatch each and every single one of these. And I will most definitely share their swatches with you as well. So this is new for Barry M. It's currently in stores, in boots, in super drugs, and on their online store as well so you can check it out. So the Candy Culture collection features four polishes. The first I'm going to show you is Raspberry Sherbet. First up is a Raspberry Sherbet which can be described as a powdery purple shade. Yes. Then we have Coconut Cream which is a grey, a pale grey shade. Then we have Blueberry Bonbon which is a pastel blue shade. We have strawberry laces, which is very much like a very light baby pink shade, I would say. So these are the four new shades that are part of the Candy Culture collection. So we have raspberry sherbet here, coconut cream, blueberry bonbon and then finally strawberry laces. Next up from Barry M for the spring summer season is their holographic collection. Some new polishes, some liquid lipsticks and some eyeshadow toppers that are part of their new range. So let's show you these. So these are the four colours that are going to be part of their new holographic collection and there appears to be a mermaid theme going on here. So first up we have angel fish that you can see. Then we have pink tail. This is such a lovely, lovely color. That's going to look amazing. Then we have a butterfly fish here. Don't you just love that iridescent glow on these colors? And then finally, we have jellyfish. Oh, I am loving, loving, loving these shades. And these are the colours up close and personal. We have angel fish on the far end here, then pink tail, butterfly fish, and angel fish, I believe. Yes. So this makes up the four new shades that will be part of the holographic content. There are also four new liquid lipsticks to form part of the holographic content and they feature four different shades of lip toppers and I believe these are great either one on their own or topped over another opaque shade of lipstick that you may have and that will create an iridescent look to any lipstick that you are wearing underneath as well. I will make sure to swatch these in another video for you. And then finally we have the eyeshadow toppers. They're like liquid creamy eyeshadows with an iridescent finish as well. I am going to swatch them for you right now so you can get a better look of what it looks like on my skin at the very least. So this is Stardust. And this is Stardust swatched on the back of my hand. Can you just see that? Oh yes. The next one I am going to swatch for you is called Supernova. There's Supernova there for you. Oh, this looks amazing. Next up, I have Luna for you. And this is Luna swatched on the back of my hand. And then finally, I have Asteroid. And there you go, there's Stardust at the top there, Supernova in the middle, Luna 
at the bottom and then asteroid and these are only 4 dollars the pigment is incredible I need Barry M to make some more of these eyeshadow toppers because I am loving these right now absolutely loving them next up I have some new releases from Smith and Colt if you're not aware of Smith and Colt they are an American brand. I came to know of them through their nail polishes due to my love of nail polishes. I actually have a few sitting on my shelf, so I'm going to grab one of their nail polishes to show you. This is what their nail polishes tend to look like. I absolutely love their packaging and it's some really, really good stuff. I have here a new release from their Book of Eyes, that's the name they call their eyeshadows. And this eyeshadow palette here is called Song of Fields. So, and this is a new release for them, a new addition to their Book of Eyes collection, which is their eyeshadow collection. So this is the Song for Fields eyeshadow palette. And I am going to swatch these for you as well. So there's the light pink there, the silver, the gold. I don't think the camera is doing it justice, if you can just see. It's like a gold foil. And then finally the green shade there for you. But I am most excited about the gold foil. I can definitely see myself digging into this a hell of a lot. It's quite exciting the way it just feels on your skin as well. So these are the four new shades for the book of eyes collection. I so I was fortunate enough I was sent another new product release from Smith and Colt, their latest lip stain, which is a matte liquid lipstick, and that's actually what I am currently wearing on my lips, but I'm going to swatch on the back of my hand as well so you can get a better look of what it looks like on my hand and on my face. So this new shade is called Demon Dazed. So this is a Demon Dazed swatch on the back of my hand. Then finally on the blogger mail front I have some new product releases from Sheer Moisture and this is a new release which is 100% coconut virgin oil. So I have the new shampoo and conditioner that I'm yet to try. So both shampoo and conditioner are free from sulfates, free from parabens, free from phthalates. I can't even say that. <laughs> No paraffin, I know that one. No mineral oils and free from synth no synthetic colors or no petroleum. So these are going to be good for nourishing my hair. I am going to try these and I shall let you know how I get on. Um, maybe I may update you on the blog or Instagram. But this is what's new into my closet. They are currently out in stores as well. I will make sure to link all of these products I've shared with you below. And that's it guys. Those are all the bits I have to show you from my cell pics to my blogger mail. I will make sure that I link everything below in case you want to grab anything. If you have any questions about anything, do ask and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure you comment, do subscribe if you aren't already subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys later. Bye!